Some of us complain about the cold winters, but there are people like Wusk International student Bjor who are grateful just to have the chance to be in Canada. Yeah, actually I'm, I'm from Sassadam and uh, I came to Canada in, in, uh, in August last month, last year, 2012. Yeah, so I'm like five to six months old here in Canada. <laughs> I'm actually taking electrical, electrical engineering. I want to be an engineer. I actually like it, you know, it's, uh, it's my dream and I'm really happy that I, I got it. So that's what I wanted to do in life and I really like it. Yeah, I, I'm in a school team. Yeah, I play in the school university and we are doing good. I like soccer, I enjoy it, it's part of my hobby. Yeah, uh, you know, I've experienced a lot of things, you know, just like opposite of what is down there in Africa. So, and uh, I didn't know it's no, I just hear it's no, I read it in the book, you know. And it was really fantastic to see it for the first time. And uh, it's one thing that I, uh, I'm really hap happy about it. I, I tried skiing the first time I tried. It was, uh, it was fun after I came out of the, of the weather. Oh, it was fun anyway. But uh, when I was there in there on the mountain, on the hill, I thought I wouldn't get out there because it was really cold. I was freezing and uh, Snow was getting to my shoes, snow was getting to my eyes, and it's really cold, you know. But then uh, it was kind of really fantastic. Yeah, it's an experience anyway. I, I, I went to the movie, and uh, it was fun, yeah, you know. And it was really fun and fantastic for the first time to, to watch a 3D movie. And, you know, uh, with those glasses, just like coming toward your eyes. And, and I was like kind of moving, and I thought it was coming toward my eyes, and, you know, it was fun. Uh, during Christmas, you know, it's my first Christmas here, and it was really fun with my husband, and everything was really new, you know. The way people celebrate Christmas here, you know, the way we celebrate it down there in Africa, and uh, it was really good. Uh, I received some gifts from mom, and I see how people get exchange gifts, and also we went out that night and we drive around the city, and we saw some of the good, some of the fantastic trees. You know, it was kind of fun and really beautiful. So those are some of uh, the good days, yeah. When I'm here, I'm really proud of being here and I can be able to tell my story and my experience. I, I say um, it's really kind of give me confidence and hope and yeah, it's something that is really cool. So people are really nice here because stories are different. They want to hear stories and the stories really touch you, you know. So and people are really helpful. They want to change that kind of situation, yeah, which is really cool, yeah. So they're really happy and uh, proud of me being here, and I'm really proud of them because uh, they, they gave me everything. They advised me all the things I need so that I, I can be able to make it. So they're really happy about me being here. Uh, we started the WUSC committee, I believe, in February of 2012. And generally, the WUSC committee, uh, the process for getting a refugee student takes about 15 to 18 months. Um, but we started late, uh, mid-February, late F February. We had to hit $2,500 for a minimum goal. Uh, our funds were a little bit short near the end, but the college stepped up and they helped donate some money, uh, which gave us the opportunity to have the student come September of 2012. So we actually uh, broke a record because it only took us seven months to have the students. So we're now recognized as the Committee on the Rise from WISC, so it's pretty exciting. Well, I think when people see exactly what they're fundraising for, and they could say, hey, that's Bior, we raised money for him last week, look at this, you know, and then they could see the future students to come. I think he really enjoys the opportunity he's had to start a new life in Canada. Um, he's really focused on helping his family back home, and that's exciting, and he's uh, got good expectations for his uh, goals for education to continue on after college. And uh, the only thing I think that is his biggest struggle is the cold winter, because uh, at about plus 10, he gets pretty cold, so... <laughs> If you'd like to attend or support any upcoming fundraising events for WISC, you can visit their Facebook page on screen. Reporting for Shaw TV, I'm Jasmine Pozo.